Hello developers, in this video we will see how to transfer Android apps from one Google Play developer account to another developer account. You can find the detailed explanation on this topic in the Google Play help center page. I will give this link in the description box. Read carefully before transferring apps to a different Google Play developer account. However, in this video I will summarize some important instructions that you need to review before transferring your apps. So let's get into the actual video. Hello friends, welcome back to Ireka Tech Solutions. Before transferring apps to a different developer account, consider these important points. First one, before you can submit a transfer request from your original account to a different account, which is your target account, make sure your both Play Console developer accounts are registered and active. Means you should be able to log in to both the accounts and the registration would have completed for both the accounts. Next, all the apps being transferred from your original account must comply with all policy guidelines. Means the apps you are trying to transfer should not be having any policy violation issues and the app should not be in rejected or in suspended state. Because by transferring these type of apps, you may be putting your new target account also at risk. Third one, for apps using Play App Signing, the target account owner should receive the upload key and app signing key from original account owner for further app updates. If there is a concern using the same upload key or app signing key after the app transfer, then the target account can request a new upload key or a new app signing key via key upgrade process. For important considerations and instructions to request a new key, you can go to this page. I will give this link in the description box. Fourth point, when you transfer apps to a different account, your apps users download statistics, ratings and reviews, content ratings, store listing information and policy declarations are all are transferred to your new account. But the test groups for open, closed and internal testing can't be transferred between accounts. You will need to recreate any closed testing groups in your new account and users may need to opt into the test again. For more details on what will be transferred with the app, you can check this section. Last point, if your app uses any integrated services, then make sure to update your account settings and apps. For example, if your app uses Firebase integration, unlink the Firebase project from the original Play Console account and link the project to the target account. And also if your app is using any Add SDK integrations like AdMob, to make sure ad traffic is credited to the correct account after the app transfer, all the SDK integration will need to be updated in your app's build files. For other integrated services, you can read this section. Finally, after reviewing all these points and you are ready to transfer apps, then log into your Google Play Console account from where you are going to transfer apps. Click on the settings option in the left side menu. Here click on this app transfers option. So this is the app transfer request page. The apps you are transferring to another developer account will be shown here and the apps transferred to your developer account will be shown here. You will have to accept or reject those app transfer requests from here. So now I want to transfer an app from this developer account to another account. So I have to click on this transfer apps. This is the transfer apps request page. We need to fill all these details and request for a transfer. Okay, let's start. The first one is your transaction ID. To find the transaction ID, we need to sign into Google Payments. Click on this link or else search for Google Payments in the browser and sign in. Once you sign into Google Payments with the same Google Play Console account details, Go to activity tab and search for Google Play developer registration fee transaction activity where the transaction fee of $25 were paid. Now click on that activity, come down. See this is the transaction ID for my Google Play console account. 
But as per the Play Console Help Center page, the registration transaction IDs are typically in one of the following formats. However, when providing your transaction ID during the app transfer request process, remove the first part of the order ID. For example, discard o.z. or the digits before the words token or registration. So, if you have token or registration text in your transaction ID, then exclude the digits before the text and take the rest. So, copy the transaction ID from registration and paste it here. Okay, now the next section is transfer details. The first one is new developer account, means you have to take the developer account ID to whom you are going to transfer the apps. So, to get the developer account ID of your target account, log it to your target account. My target account is IRECA Tech Solutions. I want to transfer apps from my home apps account to IRECA Tech Solutions account. So, this is the account ID. Copy this and paste it here. Now, to confirm this new developer account, click on find. It will show you the developer name. Next, new account transaction ID. Same way how you got your transaction ID, you have to get the target account transaction ID. So, search for Google Payments page, open it. It will automatically open your target accounts payments page. Go to activity tab. Click on registration fee activity. Come down. This is the transaction ID of my target account. It doesn't have any token or registration text, so copy the whole ID and paste it here. Next, reason for transfer. Read all these reasons and select which one suits to your requirements of app transfer. If you don't find the proper reason here as per your requirements, then select other and write the reason for the app transfer in this box. The last one is business relationship. Select the relationship between your account and the target account. Owned by the same legal entity, owned by the same parent company, your account is owned by their subsidiary, their account is owned by your subsidiary or none of the above. Select one of this relationship. Now come down, click on add apps to transfer the apps. Select one or more apps. Make sure the selected apps were published without any policy violations. I am selecting my kids learning test app. Click on apply. Okay, everything is done. Now click on review and transfer. This is the review page. Verify all the details once again. Select the acknowledgement checkbox and click on agree and transfer. Yes, the transfer request is initiated and it is in pending. If you want to cancel the request, you can click on this cancel transfer request. And here there is a warning sign, review your ads SDK integration. If you transfer, make sure the ads SDK integration for the following apps is set up correctly so that credit is directed to the appropriate account means all SDK integrations will need to be updated in your app to make sure ad earnings are credited to the correct account. But if both the accounts are owned by the same legal entity and having the same payments account info, then you need not worry about these ad SDK integration changes. So we have initiated the app transfer request and it is in pending. Now let's see the target account. Go to settings, app transfers. See under apps being transferred to you, there is an app listed. Transferring from home apps and the app is kids learning test. Click on review request. Acknowledge the agreement. Click on agree and transfer. Okay, you have accepted an app transfer request from home apps. Go to original account. Refresh the page or go to settings and select app transfers. Yes, app acceptance message was received. Your app transfer request has been accepted by IRECA Tech Solutions. We will send an inbox message when the transfer is complete and the apps are available in their developer account. 
So once the review is over, the apps requested to transfer will automatically deleted in your original account and appear in your target account. The review may take minimum two business days, so you can check your email after two days. I have submitted the transfer request on December 5th and the app transfer was completed on December 9th. So for me, it took four days to complete the app transfer process. Okay, refresh the app transfer page. Yes, your app transfer request to IRECA Tech Solutions is complete. Go to home page. See, I have five apps only now. Let's check the target account. Yes, kids learning test is successfully transferred to my target account. And along with the app, the app statistics, releases, ratings and reviews and store listing information are all transferred to my target account. Hope you got a clear picture on how to transfer the Android apps from one Google Play console account to another account. If you like my explanation, please comment, like the video and subscribe to IRECA Tech Solutions. Thank you.